let's say your client Olivia Lee sends a message. What is the order status on my order 10,008? We will use make.com, chat GPT, Google Sheets, webhook to analyze her message and write a reply. The order is processing and maybe also add additional information and send it back to her. Let's create a new scenario in make.com. Let me look for webhook. So webhook will let me send information from another place to make.com. Webhook is like a link. So I will show you. I'm gonna say custom webhook. And I will add and just call it orders or whatever. Save. So if I just copy this address. Okay, let me save. And now I can please uh, press this uh, run once. And if I just go and search for this URL, you see, uh, we already sent an HTTP request. And then we see here that we got something. Well, there is nothing in it, but we triggered this webhook. Now, if I want to send actual information, I will run once this scenario. So run once means just it's going to execute. Uh, uh, so when I get some information, it will then stop. Okay. Uh, like we go to requbin.com. So this will just let me uh, send information to webhook. So I will paste my URL here and I can say order uh, and then some random numbers. The point I can add other things, thing to some uh, value to whatever. Okay. So I can change this to post because this will let me post inform send information to the webhook. Get would just uh, call the webhook, but not send information to webhook. Get will just get information from the webhook. So let me send. And now if we go here, we should be getting something. So we got order uh, our number and thing the value. So if you don't see this, just click this number one. Usually you would put this webhook somewhere in your platform. Maybe there is some URL somewhere for a webhook, or if you know uh, how to do it yourself, then you can. Also, another thing, a quick advice, usually when you are sending information, you want to do it in body and uh, JSON structure. Now, if that doesn't mean anything to you, if you didn't understand it, it does not matter. Trust me. That was just a tip. Here I have some uh, fake Google uh, sheet that I generated with ChatGPT. So, but this is going to be same as whatever application and case you have. So I have order number name, uh, status, ship, processing, delivered, delivery estimate, uh, and then all of this kind of information. Let's say a client asks, what is my status? Let's say on order uh, 10,008. So I will write that question here uh, and we will simulate this webhook call. So I put a key question and the value is going to be this question. So don't forget to uh, run once to activate your scenario, because if I send it now, it will not work. And then send. So now we can see that we got question and what is my status. Now, uh, I also got these two keys. I'm not sure why I got them as well, uh, because I didn't actually I have them here. Yeah, that's why. So I will disable them. Yeah. So now, uh, I, next time I will just get this one. But for now, this also works. Next, let's connect chat GPT. So I will go here and search for uh, GPT. So open AI, chat GPT, whisper. Okay, create a completion. I would say in this case, yeah, create a completion. And let's add a new connection. 
so now I will go to platform.openai.com slash settings slash organization slash API dash keys I will leave the link below and create a new API key tutorial or whatever the name project will be this project create secret key and let's copy this key and I will delete this soon don't worry and I will paste this key here and tutorial orders uh, orders connection okay save now we got that connection so the model uh, I will choose uh, GPT 4.0 so I will just look for GPT 4.0 uh, latest or system okay let's go system it will probably give me the latest uh, messages so we will add a message role developer slash system so this is you give instructions here you can also choose user by the way but let's choose this one so I wrote this is users question and then if I click here I under this webhook I will click this variable question and this will be replaced with whatever the question is later so if I replace this text it will this text will appear here but it's important that the name the key is always question if you change this name then this it will not be related to this anymore so this will not be replaced anymore then I gave it instructions you will extract order ID from users question this is users question order ID has five digits and always starts with numbers one zero uh, think step by step which number it is and write final answer order number here for example final answer one zero four two five so this is uh, the case for my specific case obviously you can change this a lot so you can maybe it doesn't have five digits maybe you don't even know maybe you just want some number uh, so I would suggest uh, you gave it like an example like this and you gave it like format so it doesn't have to have this it doesn't have to have these underlines I just uh, did it this way but it you just need to explain to it how to extract it and maybe give it an example so let me save max completion 2000 that's okay okay so we this we see this number one so let me see what the problem is it says like in one, one error so if I save again AI yeah, disappeared okay uh, now let's duplicate this clone and let's put it here so so here in this other chat GPT node I will keep the GPT-40 system message and I will say this this text contains order ID and then or I will say uh, look at this text and I will just paste this result here it says result and then now this is may seem a bit confusing but uh, I'm also gonna tell it again to extract the order number but here I will tell it to just give me the ID and nothing else and this is important because in the first jet GPT we allow it to think step by step but it will return a bunch of text so it will return both thinking and the order ID and we will use that to like process and let it think and in the second step we will tell it to remove all of the text thinking all of the other text so we just have uh, order ID and nothing else as the output of the second chat GPT call so I have uh, that's because we just need that string order ID to process uh, to search within these cool sheets if we have other additional text we will not be able to search for order ID 
my prompt is you will extract order ID from this text and then I describe what the order ID looks like and then I say uh, you must only extract order ID without any other letters and words for example and give it the example and save okay next now we will go to Google Sheets so uh, let's search for Sheets let me search rows so I see a bunch of this stuff yeah okay so search rows this one not the advanced and we can add a new connection if you don't have one you will sign up with Google and then you will choose your uh, okay so let me close here uh, select from my drive spreadsheet ID I just wrote my name here orders and I will select it so sheet name will be sheet 1 because you see here in the bottom it's called sheet 1 usually it will just be called sheet 1 so filter order number equals to the result of the second chat GPT so the uppermost chat GPT because this one will the lower one will have both thinking and result but we just need this one this will be the pure number order by it doesn't matter save so now let me run this and if I send a webhook send let's see what's happening okay it works and uh, Olivia Lee so we got all of the information it's gonna be where Olivia Lee is this one so 10,008 and you see 10,008 so it works what we can do now is uh, let me duplicate ChatGPT again clone let's go here after and I will uh, tell it this is the user's question so let me go down to the webhook and say question this is information so order number uh, let me go up here to the sheets so order number I'm gonna click this order number field uh, customer name or client name customer name status status estimated delivery estimated delivery tracking number tracking number carrier carrier last update last update and product name product name then uh, write uh, reply to the user start directly with the reply text and do not output any other text so if you find ChatGPT outputting like uh, I will write reply for the text and then starting to reply then you can adjust this prompt further tell it not to write uh, anything else but just the reply directly so now after we have this reply written uh, there are a few options uh, what I'm gonna do is go webhooks search for webhooks here and say webhook response and the body will just be this result the last result so this is gonna be the reply save so this will respond back to the webhook that I sent from that's one option We could also use Gmail to reply like a Gmail or email or send an API call. So I can add a module here and search for Gmail or Telegram or send email. So, but here I think the main important is I showed you how to process the information. So let me delete this module. Uh, now depending on where you want to send the information I uh, there is too many possibilities so I think uh, maybe just uh, watch a different YouTube video explaining it so I'm gonna run the scenario and send this let's see what happens it's going it's processing and we should be getting a response here yeah your order with number is processing the estimated delivery and stuff 
So that works well. You see, we got the response here. It worked. And if we go and we can follow any of these, see what the input, the output. So the output is in choices. Number one, message uh, content. Yeah, this is the content. This is the output of this ChatGPT call. And let's say the last ChatGPT call. So result here, result. Or you can just go choices, one, message, and content. So it's going to be the same as result. And we put the, that result here, and that's it. So uh, another tip is I'm using GPT-40 because it's a bit faster, but you can also use uh, just 40 or, or, or O3 mini. It's cheaper. And it's maybe more accurate and better and smarter. But then you wouldn't tell it to think step by step because uh, you don't prompt mini like that. You would just say output order number and nothing else. And don't tell it to think step by step uh, because you will confuse it and it will already know that it should reason. So if you use mini reasoning model O3 mini, then just tell it output this number and that's it. And then let it reason it will just output this number. And then you don't need this one that's processing the this thinking and stuff. So you just need one. And everything else will be the same. So that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.